It's 10 p.m. and we're in Juneau. And uh, we just got done with our Sunday mass schedule in Anchorage. Sung mass, potluck, catechism, everything. And now here we are, getting ready for our flight to go to Sitka. Every weekend, a curious migration occurs. From all across the United States, unlikely characters leave their homes and residences to travel. They are Roman Catholic priests of the Society of St. Pius X, journeying to bring Christ in the sacraments to the faithful over the furthest reaches of the continent, places like Sitka, Alaska, Now the missions, like Alaska, the Alaskan mission, is very remote physically. Just look at the map, you see right away. It's uh, Even when people talk, they, they refer to the lower 48. When comparison, uh, comparing to Alaska in relation to the other states of the United States. And so that mentality, socially speaking, even uh, amongst people here, it's reflected for our work for the church, for the Latin Mass, because, again, to get here, it's a little extraordinary. In the very beginning of creation, that is the only command that God gave in fact. To go and procreate and subdue the earth. Think about it, it's the one that's really attacked the most in the world. To attack the family, to attack children. But God has given us the means to try and, of course, do our part in the family life and in the sacramental life. Our Lord Jesus Christ becoming incarnate. Juan in corde. Sume virin celestum trecetorum et alis est un moris. Justissimam pietate di tu hande precor domine sangue pater omnipotente tere Deus. Actor luminis et veritatis super un famulum cuvum ego te patizo in nomine patris et fili et spiritus sancti. It's very clear that it's God's will that the priest be there with the faithful from beginning to end. From baptism until death, he has willed to include the priesthood in the continuation of his act of sanctification, the act of redemption from baptism through all the sacraments, penance, absolution, communion, last rites, all these things, God wills to give His grace in a conditional way. We must do our part, and then God gives the blessing. 
Domini non sum dignus rentre subtecti meum, sed anni verbo, et senabitur anima mea. Corpus Domini nostri Jesu Christi, custodit animam tuum vita eternum. Amen. To bring our Lord to the faithful, to bring them the Mass, bring them the sacraments, sacrifice, we have to do our part. Yeah, pray for my intentions, please, huh? I will, and please. thank you, Father, for the Holy Mass. I appreciate it. Of course, no worries, okay? So God bless. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ. Just baby. living up here in a faraway place, these priests are traveling long distances, sometimes from the East Coast all the way to Alaska, which is, you know, a good 12 hours by plane. Um, and they get here, they pretty much, their feet touch the ground, they're saying mass, they're hearing confessions. This is a chapel that has waited an, an entire month uh, for a priest, and suddenly, you know, everyone needs to go to confession, they need sacraments, there are baptisms, sick calls to make, and their time is very limited, and they sacrifice every moment of that time. What we discovered when we come to this parish was the traditional Mass, the Mass of when I was seven, when I received my first communion at the communion rail. Over the years, going to, to the Novus Ordo Mass, we become quite disillusioned, and we eventually quit going in about 2000, 2001 time frame, and didn't go back to Mass until 2013 when we discovered the Society. My profound thanks to the priests and to the to the laity, you know, that are involved with the with the society. I could have gone to my grave with this, you know, wretched gruel that they have been feeding all of us in the Novus Ordo. Um, and instead, it was like walking down a dark high hallway, and you see a, a little door open, and you see some light coming out, and there's a room full of treasures in there. My name is Catherine Gluth. I live in Sitka, Alaska, small island, remote in Alaska. There are quite a few priests that have um, gone on missions to Alaska. Father Wagner, Father MacDonald, um, Father Stanich, Father Portugal. They obviously are going to be in and out of the airports traveling, which that alone is a huge um, burden, you know, getting through TSA, dealing with um, late flights or no flights or cancellations. So the priests getting here, they, you know, they do have to go through a lot. They have to put a lot of work in and a lot of time in to, to make it to us. And that for us, you know, makes us appreciate every bit of it even more. I just don't think people understand the, the time and the effort that is made for chapels that are sometimes small. Um, maybe we don't have the numbers obviously to compete with huge chapels, but still someone is coming every single month tirelessly. I wish I could just tell all of the society priests thank you so very much. Close to a hundred priests travel great distances each week to serve souls who depend on them for the traditional Latin Mass and the sacraments, performing weddings, communions, and baptisms, comforting the sick, burying the dead, and consoling their families. These priests make great sacrifices each week to travel wherever they are needed. You can partner with them by giving the equivalent of one dollar a day, less than a cup of coffee, to support their work.